Demolition Danny. You don't need a big swing. Yeah. Yeah, look at that particle board crap. Welcome to the Trendy Outdoorsman. This is video two of our investor series. If you missed the first one, it's in the link below. Check out what we're doing with this house. It's 60 years old and we're modernizing it. Got the car fired up. Car's working great, just needs a battery. So it's very exciting. Starting to load up the trash. And this is only the first load. We'll probably have another one that we're gonna go throw out. We've got all the carpets downstairs. Uh, my wife ripped all the carpets out while my dad helped me carry all the furniture and everything in the garage. We organized everything in a couple of days and decided to have this huge estate sale. We advertised on Facebook Marketplace and also some garage sale websites and organized everything nicely for people to just kind of walk through the entire house, see everything that we have. And it was actually a very awesome, successful event. When it was all said and done, we did $4,500 of sales. So after the first weekend, our estate sale is over. This is what's left over from all that stuff that we had. So we're gonna start, uh, my wife is ripping wallpaper out inside of the home and we're going to start by ripping out all these bushes here, pull these out and we'll start doing some landscape around this house. Started on the yard, the weather's perfect. As you can see, the house looks actually much bigger. And of course, we're going to pressure wash the roof and the house. We found all kinds of goodies in the backyard. We've got bricks and pavers and rocks. And the shed itself, as you can see, is rotting on the bottom. Also leaking on the top. Good news, we did find roofing inside of the garage. So I will re-roof the shed. We should have enough shingles to re-roof the shed. And if we don't, we're pretty close. And then I will throw some new sides on it. The grapevines. We're gonna leave, they're pretty cool. We're actually gonna produce grapes. And little tiny baby grapes already there. Woo! Yeah! And she's down. Woo! The part we haven't mentioned is three quarters of this home had wallpaper and I just cringed to the thought of having to remove it. But my wife actually found a amazing system in easily removing it. So I was so impressed enough to create a separate video showing you a step-by-step -step guide on how easy she makes it look with the proper tools that are necessary. So I'll link that below. There was a ton of tile in this house and these tools that I'm showing you here makes this so simple and amazingly easy to do. Just have to have a couple of tools I'm going to link below and this uh, air compressor deal and of course you need safety glasses, gloves, the whole nine yards to be safe. But this made it just breeze right through this bathroom and check this out. Throw it on some wheels making it a lot easier to take it out to the trash. My wife stripped all the wallpaper. There was also wallpaper on the actual doors and behind them. Gutted the bathroom entirely. I took off the tile. You can see that pattern there from the wall. Also I took off the entire vanity here and I'm also going to replace the water shutoff valves, they are leaking a little bit. And then look at that beautiful wallpaper behind the shower. I ripped the entire shower sides. We're gonna tile this entire puppy. That's gonna be some work, but bathrooms are important. They have to look good. Okay, so in the kitchen, I removed that light and then gutted the, what was attached. So I removed all that and all the base and removed the subfloor. So we're going to do a laminate throughout. And then fireplace, there's panels that were stuck to the fireplace with this faux wood and some faux columns. And my wife is gonna have fun. She said she wants to do this glass. She wants to remove it. So we're gonna try to figure out a best way to doing that. Maybe even heating it with a wallpaper machine and uh, maybe that will loosen up the glue. Ripped out the chairlift that we had going on in the basement as well as the carpet with it. We will have to re-drywall these two sides. They just had wood paneling here. We removed this little office area we had over here. Just a little tiny like six by six walled off room. It is not part of the uh, the structure of the basement here. So it was absolutely easy to do. Now we're dealing with this fun stuff. This is like a giant old boiler heater tank, quarter full of heating oil, siphoning it into five gallon buckets, utility room in here, and uh, been scraping the floors, removing the old floors, because we're basically gonna do hardwood throughout all the way down here, laminate it throughout. Um, in this area here, it's gonna, it's got the new awesome furnace. It's got the water heater that we're already done. That's great. So we're going to remove that tank and we're going to create a little utility sink, washer, dryer, sump pump, 
And then we're gonna finish this wall off, have a door here, this is utility room. So we're gonna end up finishing this big basement. It's technically partially finished, um, needs a ceiling and it needs walls, uh, in some areas redone and finished and so forth. So we'll get there. This is just progress report. A little fireplace they had over here. Um, it's kind of cool. We'll probably do some sort of fun decorative paneling on the front of it. We got lucky they already redid the water line here with the new shut off, so that, that's nice. That's one of the first things I do when we get into a house. I make sure I can completely shut the water off. So we're still gonna tile the showers. You, I haven't done anything with that. But in the meantime, I skimmed it, sanded it, and because of all the different colors, I had uh, some white paint left over in the garage from the previous owner that I just painted everything just to see what I missed with after skimming. Lots of filled holes. Uh, I went around with Milwaukee Light and with Skim Set filled and sanded, so here's my setup. I've got to make sure you wear a really good respirator for the sanding. This is this is the fastest way to sand. These things are massive and they're pretty inexpensive. Very easy to sand a large area. And then I've got these for, for uh, corners and smaller applications. That's in the bathroom up here, just getting started on the skimming process, but you can kind of see. And we left a toilet because you know we gotta use a we gotta use a toilet. That's always our rules. Whatever we do, we always leave one toilet for as long as we can until we redo with the other bathroom. Today we're prepping for tile. Safety glasses, your mop. So use an oscillator tool. This is the best tool ever for this. You have to cut out because a lot of older homes that they didn't have tile before. Their wood actually goes to the bottom of the uh, floor, and you need to actually slide some tile under there. and then just basically uh, get the tile nice and, nice and snug under there. Here's a little teaser of progress in the next video. Thanks for watching part two of the three-part series. We'll have the third part listed next week. If you missed the first one, it's in the description below. All the tools mentioned will also be in the description below. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you guys back soon.